Dallas County Sheriff's deputies say a suspected hit and run driver initially spray painted his tow truck to hide it from investigators, but has now turned himself in for that crash that led to a good Samaritan's death. Hello, I'm Steve Vigor. It's 9 o'clock. Investigators say Juan Garcia hit a van on Interstate 30 in Dallas earlier this month and just kept going. When Donald Collins stopped to help that van driver, police say he was struck by an accused drunk driver and killed. Fox Force Peyton Yeager live at the Dallas County Jail where Garcia turned himself in. Peyton? Steve, Juan Garcia is now charged with accident involving serious bodily injury and also tampering with evidence. And according to investigators, that tampering with evidence charge came because Garcia allegedly tried to paint the red tow truck black and then stash it in his neighbor's yard. But then tips from the public came in. Newly released intake video shows 25-year-old Juan Francisco Garcia being booked into the Dallas County Jail Monday afternoon. After hiring an attorney, Garcia turned himself into authorities more than a week after he allegedly caused a crash that later led to a good Samaritan being killed. The Dallas County Sheriff's Office says around 2.30 a.m. on August 12th, Garcia was driving a red tow truck that clipped a van on I-30 near 2nd Avenue, causing a tragic chain of events. The van spun out and stopped facing oncoming traffic, but investigators say Garcia took off in the tow truck. 25-year-old husband, father, and Marine veteran Donald Collins III pulled over to help the people inside the van. According to an arrest affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Tuesday, Collins called 911 to report the hit and run while getting out of his vehicle. That's when the sheriff's office says a suspected drunk driver, 33-year-old Irma Martinez Liel, hit and killed Collins. Liel was taken into custody the day of the crash and faces intoxication manslaughter and intoxication assault charges. The two people inside the van, a mother and her 16-year-old son, survived. Meanwhile, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office was tipped off. The red tow truck was in a backyard less than two miles away from the crash site. Investigators showed up to the home near Fair Park and noticed the tow truck under a tarp. The towing decal and phone number on the side of the truck had been painted over by black spray paint. Deputies say they found five cans of spray paint in the backyard scattered around. The homeowner told sheriff's deputies the truck came from across the street, but he didn't know his neighbor. Tuesday, Fox 4 spoke to the same homeowner who didn't want to talk on camera or give many details, only insisting he didn't know Garcia and Garcia parked the tow truck on his property before asking permission. Investigators were also sent to Garcia's social media profile, identifying him as the owner of the tow truck. Last week on Thursday, the sheriff's office was notified through Garcia's attorney he would show up to jail on Monday. Praise the Lord, everyone. The same day Collins's funeral was held. He's always had a passion for people. And again, as we can see today uh, from, the, from the testimonies that everyone had, uh, just what a wonderful person he really was. Yeah. Now, I spoke with Garcia's attorney on the phone this afternoon. He tells me he believes that his client is overcharged and they plan to fight this in court. Now, we checked the jail records this evening, Steve, and Garcia has since bonded out. Okay. Back to you. All right, Peyton, live in uh, Dallas tonight. Thanks.